<laughs> All right, you guys, we're back. We're back. We're real this time. Sorry. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back, you guys. Sorry, you guys. We're back. We'll wait for a few more people. Now they're going to go. Hello, Haley, Vincent. What are we doing? Wait for But do you want to go ahead and start? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can go ahead and start. All right, welcome to Political Talk with KD, you guys. I'm um, glad you're back. Hey, Tony, we're glad you're back in here again. We're back. Sorry that we uh, got off track for a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but today I got a special guest here with me. Today her name is Miss Jenkins. Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Miss Jenkins. I'm a teacher and I'm a youth advocate as well here in the Little Rock area. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're going to get straight into it. I know some more people come on later. So basically, we're here to talk about Richard Barnett. Um, he's from Graffit, Arkansas. I don't know if you guys have been seeing like in the here recent like news. So we basically asked a question on our story. We were asking basically, do you guys think she said, how many Jenkins? <laughs> She's, um, we asked you guys, do you think that he should be in jail? Because I don't know if you guys know or not, but Richard Barnett, um, he got sent home on an ankle monitor. Do you think he should be in jail, Ms. Jenkins? After being found guilty on all eight counts. So, I mean, in my opinion, yes, he should face time. I feel like that it's a danger that he gets to come back home. Not many people have that much, like, much privilege to, um, you know, have that choice to come home. I feel like if it would have been anybody else in that, in those shoes, they would have been in prison in D.C. Versus exactly. being able to come home. Exactly. That was a big situation for it to have been fought in D.C. That lets you know the importance of the issue, yet he's leaving guilty but on an ankle monitor yeah and i don't know if you guys seen like basically it's like a um news article and it was a video and his attorney was saying like he deserves the right to um have his trial in arkansas like i don't know do you guys think that he should have his trial in arkansas do you Ms. Jenkins? um i feel like he should have faced trial in dc i agree with the way it was proceeded with but not where we ended yeah Pretty much. I agree with that. Um, I know for sure his date is May for his next court date. And that's when he'll be sentenced. So right now he's in Arkansas, in Graphic, Arkansas, actually, um, on an ankle monitor. From the story, some guys were saying that he should have went to prison because <clears throat> I think Marktavius Proctor said this. He said that he should have went to prison because um, he stole mail out of Nancy Pelosi's office. I don't know if many people know about that, but that's one of the crimes. Wasn't that one of the counts that mm -hmm. he's facing? So, yeah, he's one facing eight that. Counts. Yeah, that's one of the eight counts that he's facing also. But, uh, yeah, so... Haley, Vincent, how do you feel about it? Do you feel like he should be in jail right now? Or do you feel like, wow, he needs to be in prison? Yeah, he needs to be in prison. I feel like more people need to know about the kind of justice that he got that other people don't have the chance to get. Ma Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. So I know we had a few more listeners on here a while ago. Um, you guys, like I said, this is my first time being live. Um, hey, Zeke Surface, he actually he was the one who commented on my story. You guys, he um basically said that he actually met um Robert Barnett, Richard Barnett. Richard Barnett. <laughs> he met Richard Barnett, and Haley Vincent said it's white privilege. I wasn't trying to say that, but basically that's where I was hitting up is. It's white privilege. Like, I don't feel like... So the charges were out of D.C. Yes. Uh-huh. So basically, he invaded the Capitol with a bunch of people. I don't know if you guys remember on January the 6th, he invaded the Capitol. In the Capitol riot. In the Capitol riot. Zeke Service said that he lives in my town. That's crazy. And you're from Graphic, right, Zeke? 
I believe he's from Grafton, Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what's being reported on the news. He wants to have his trial in Grafton, Arkansas, but they denied that. So I feel like yes. Okay, so yeah, it's in Grafton, Arkansas. So I feel like hello, Clissy, Clissy. I think that's Clissy. Yeah, that's Clissy. So then he should definitely be held in D.C. If it was anybody else, they would have kept him there. And that's for real. If it was anybody else, he would have definitely been there. Hey, He would have definitely been there, I feel like. Um, so, it's just crazy of the justice that is different for everyone else. It's crazy the double standards they have in the justice system. Yeah, the double standard for sure. So the ones who just coming in here, do you guys think that he should be in Arkansas right now? Do you guys not feel like he's not a risk to Arkansas? Because I feel like he is. Even on the ankle monitor. Like... Yeah. So that's pretty much all the breaking news that we got for you guys today. Um, I'm going to actually make this an episode um, breaking news. We're actually on YouTube now. So you guys will be able to watch this on YouTube and on um, Anchor. So continue to listen to this podcast. This is my first time being live. So I appreciate you guys for coming on. He is definitely why even move him. Exactly. Um, Actually, he was actually able to come home he was actually able to come home so he's in a graphic arkansas right now he flew back from dc back to the arkansas so he's after back him chilling with his feet kicked up like he was in the office yeah after invading the capital but i appreciate you guys for coming out this is my first live uh miss jenkins thank you for coming with me all right you guys tune in link in bio it's a new episode i hope you guys are tuned in all right